uh, this is section uh, 17 and in, in the last video we are looking at uh, one of the ways where a stack can be used uh, which is to express uh, geographic or uh, physical um, location uh, like don't they estas where are you but uh, there is an exception to that uh, rule uh, which is uh, said, said is used to tell where an event is taking place and notice that event is important and where is taking place so la fiesta es en mi casa es en mi casa all right so uh, now let's move on to the second um, scenario or situation where you can use um, a star and that is with um, adjectives to express a state or condition it is how, how something is so for instance como esta la sopa how is the soup la sopa esta fría the soup is cold right so uh, from what are you seeing right uh, a star uh, a star is um, uh, from when he first learned about a star we, we talked about a star being used to express the condition right we, we uh, for inst instance we talked about apple la manzana esta verde means the apple is green but it, it actually means that it is raw right so you're talking about a condition and a condition or the state changes so the condition can only be referenced with with a particular moment of time and afterwards it might change but this in the same time if you're talking about said said is used to express inherent or essential characteristics which stay with that object for a, or, or a person for, for a lifetime so Como esta la sopa? How is the soup? La sopa es, esta fría. The soup is cold. Como estas tú? How are you? Como estas tú? Como estas tú? Estoy muy bien. Gracias. I'm very well. Thanks. Okay, so, um, so this is a star is used with um, adjectives to express a state or a condition, right? Um, and Uh, so, for instance, we're talking about this. La sopa está fría. Uh, in this case, the adjective is cold. And and we, we're using esta, which is a verb, right? The, the, the soup is cold. So, uh, we're using it with an adjective. So, that's why I say esta is used with adjectives to express a state of condition um, okay so so that is what you covered today right and in the next video we'll look at how it can be used with idiomatic expressions so until then see you next time